I feel so happy and I can breathe fresh air in the garden as well. Not only fresh air, but the people. We can communicate each other. The Cove Garden is in Dorston. It's been here about 10 years. It's called the Eastern Curve Garden because it's part of an old railway track. It was a curve for the railway. It was just a bit of wasteland for a while. And then a bunch of community activists just decided it should become something else. Great place to have a garden. Look at it now. With very little funding, totally really under-resourced, but just absolutely determined that the community needs this. My name is Ken Falati. I live in Hackney. I've been living here for 20 years. I've lived everywhere else. I've lived in Parsons Green, I've lived in Labrock Grove, and I've lived kind of pretty much everywhere. The garden is fantastic because you wouldn't get a garden like this in Kensington. You know, this is a community garden. The reason why I come to the Curve Garden is because it is such a beautiful, peaceful place. It's like absolutely it's bursting with colour. It's just a joy to be here. They've opened it up now to all of some of the older groups in Hackney come and use the facilities in between 11 and 2, which is really great that they get an opportunity to mix with each other freely and, and they make food for us and uh, give us coffee. And we got an opportunity to mix, talk to people in other groups and from other backgrounds. And so it's a very diverse group in itself. My name is Delroy Forbes. I am an ex-serviceman. We are here because of the lockdown. We have been uh, isolated for a number of months. And this, coming to this place, is a release. Some of these people I didn't know before I came here because they're, they're not only from my group, they're from different, different groups. In actual fact, the group that we once had, it was run by a chap called Rick, and because of the lack of funding recently, it was curtailed. I'm Rick, and the reason I come here to the Curve Garden every Tuesday is because it's a special community event just for older people. You know, during the um, pandemic, especially during the winter months, the Curve Garden was open for small support groups. And for some of those people, if you ask them, they will tell you the Curve Garden saved their lives. Really, they were getting so depressed and really quite unwell. Some of those people have survived COVID and they've survived winter in the pandemic thanks to the way things have been run here. Can't be underestimated. It's been a place where I've been able to come most weeks actually, not just because I needed it myself, but because I was helping other people come here. So it's given me not just something to do, it's given me a role that I didn't really have before. Uh, and it's helped me connect with people I thought I knew, but didn't really know them at all because I didn't know quite what their home situation was. So it's brought me closer to some of the people that were just acquaintances. When everything locked down, and I am also shield person, it is make me so miserable because I always go outside, inside, always active person. My activity completely closed and they, I feel morose for that. I feel so unhappy inside, I couldn't tell you. I can't sleep in the night thinking and thinking all the time. Everybody group are very nice, they are friendly, they are frank. So I come here, at least I can express my something out of my chest. Because I'm the artist myself. I do some making artistical thing, creating some picture and all those things. 
you know, the card and all those bard, how to make the bard, different color, I can make it here. That makes me happy as well. And what I feel, I go home, I tell my husband as well, I feel so happy there. Even I can spare not only whole hour, a few minutes, it makes me happy and that happiness will fulfill my, my life and everything and that I won't be miserable, you know. It's really far more important than a lot of people realise. It's not just a place where people, people to come and have a cup of tea or, and, and enjoy life. It's actually a really essential part of the community. Not just for older people, but for everybody. It's played a critical role. I don't think people really understood how important it's been until we had a real crisis.